Today, I'm informing my interviewees about the humanitarian crisis going on in Burma, Asia. There is a group that exists in Burma called the Rohingya Muslims. This group has been discriminated against and cast out by Burma's government for centuries and the issue continues to escalate. The discrimination is so prevalent that in the 1982 citizen law, Rohingya Muslims were actually denied legal citizenship to the place some of them have called home all of their lives. This stateless population has around 120,000 internally displaced from waves of violence in 2012 and 2016. More than 688,000 Rohingya have had to flee Burma since August of 2017 to escape government-led violence. The military is attempting an ethnic cleansing of all Rohingya peoples, and they are doing this by holding mass killings, performing sexual violence, and participating in widespread arson. The arson can be seen in satellite images proving that at least 200 villages and campsites that hosted Rohingya Muslims have been burned. Approximately 3,000 Rohingya have been killed since August of 2017, but that number has undoubtedly increased. To current date, fleeing Rohingya have to resort to flowing into Bangladesh. However, approximately 200,000 people are estimated to be taking shelter and hiding from the military in the Mimars jungle, according to the UNHCR. These people are being hunted and cleansed from Burma's population, and without the help of the UN and surrounding charities, they will continue to lack basic human necessities and be forced to live their lives on the run from violence and destruction. McKenna, would you consider yourself in the know regarding the world around you? I would say that I'm probably more in the know than most college students, or at least I try to be. Specifically, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, are we talking about anything more specific? In the U.S. or in other countries, just in the know about everything that's going on? Honestly, no. I really don't. Okay, so did you know that this ethnic cleansing was happening in current day? No, I had no idea that this was happening. Not at all. No idea at all. So what is your first reaction to the story and how does it make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel really disheartened about the world. Like, I feel like we've come so far in a lot of other things and, um, you know, you never want to say that anything's perfect, but you'd think that maybe we're past the point where we're trying to, like, ethnically cleanse people for their religion. Like, it seems like something that would have been done, like, hundreds of years ago and, like, you're just now hearing about it, but, like, to know that it's happening right here, like, in present day, like, that's kind of scary and sad, honestly. Um, honestly, I was more just, like, uncomfortable with the fact that we still have these things happening um, and that we're in this place and we absolutely have no idea what's happening around the world. How often do you actively think or talk about humanitarian issues outside of the U.S.? I don't know. I feel like I talk about humanitarian issues inside of the U.S. a lot more because it's like what I'm closest to and like what I'm more passionate about. But I feel like, I mean, these people need somebody to speak up for them as well. So like I should probably be talking about it more. Um, honestly, it never really comes to mind. Um, saying it out loud is pretty sad, but now that like just hearing that alone definitely makes me want to like learn about other issues that are happening. Truthfully, how often would you consider donating to help with issues like this one? I feel like once you like know about issues like this, then you're more like apt to donate to these causes. Like if I knew that these people really needed help, then like I would be more inclined to donate to them than if I like had never heard about it and I just saw like a posting for it. Um, I usually wouldn't be completely in for donating just because I don't always feel like I have a connection to that especially because it is like a religious issue um, but I definitely feel like if I were to learn more about a specific case like this then I would definitely consider. Both of these college-aged women had no idea about the humanitarian crisis going on in Burma. At the end of their interviews they both admitted that they would be more likely to donate had they heard about the issue. This is why it's so important to keep in mind humanitarian crisis going on around the world. The first step in the right direction is having the conversation.